Hello everybody, my name is Philip and today you're watching Procure 101. So, as you can see, I am on Adobe Flash CC. This is what I use to make my animations. So, I'm actually just going to delete what I've already made. Um, only because, um, I just want you guys to see a full animation thing. I haven't worked on this for a while. So, firstly, what I use is what I actually use with my mouth. I've gotten better at using it lately, so, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I'll get one of those tablet thingies that you can attach to your computer wirelessly. It's like USB, I think. Alright, it used to be $100, but now it's 40 bucks from memory. And then, um, yeah, so, yeah, let's just get right into it. Right now, I am making... Um, stick me jumping over wall four. So, select the amount of frames you want. You can adjust this later. But for the time being, I'm gonna select sixty. So, to click on you want to click on the frame you want. In this case, sixty. And just press this, and it gives us a bunch of frames. And so yeah. Um, now what I do is I do this both my photos. Every three frames, I um, I create a new pose, and if I need to, I put in more frames in there just to make it smoother. So, yeah, let's. This one's already ready. So actually, I can just. I'll just leave that one for now. I'll just. Okay. It's being annoying, but let's just get right into it. So for the first pose, guys. I will probably put in layer one. Firstly, since I know what I want them to be doing, I am going to make a ground. Now, see, um, I could just use the field bit to um just to actually well um fill in this, but the problem is I'll actually need to um like. I'll put lines all around here, so, yeah. I don't know much about this, um, animator, so, please bear with me. So, firstly, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go down a little. Right, good, and then I'm going to do that. Try getting it around here. I'll just go out of here and then like so okay so now that I've done that I will get out my bucket tool I will select a nice green there we go now I am going to get rid of the lines Guys, to select multiple objects, you just hold down shift and then click what you want. And then I'm going to press eight. And there we go, that's good enough. So I'm going to uh, just do this a little better. That way it covers the whole thing. Perfect. Now I'm going to create a new layer. So we're going to be modifying each layer separately. It just makes life a lot easier. So yeah, now I will get out the I'm gonna, and I'm actually gonna make it so that the wall is under layer one. See, if layer one, let's just say layer one was in front, and then I drew the wall here, since layer one is at the top, it's in front, so layer two would be behind all the grass like this. So I'll just quickly demonstrate if I do. Well, that's not gonna work. So you guys, roll Z to undo something. So if I just click up black, say. I do not want to do that, so let's just put that back to that. Let's unselect it. Then we'll go to this. So layer one is that. So if we go into layer two, and then we uh, select. Ugh. Come on. So if I go into that, and then I do this, it goes behind it. So yeah, I know. Was crap. 
I'm pretty sure for the wall I normally use this grey colour. I don't know why. But yeah. So I think I'm just gonna extend this. Um yeah. Yeah probably a dummy. Come on. Go away. I'll remove the frame. Yay! Here we pray. Okay, now that we're back here, we will now get to the wall. I'm just going to do a very simple, basic looking wall. Suck. Oh, crap. Something like that. Maybe like this. This. Moving's out, though. Maybe I can bend it. I'll get out my seal tool. Fill it in. I'm gonna make that like 10 times higher. Crap. There we go now. I'll just do that. And I'm gonna try smoothening that. And I'm gonna try lining that up. There we go. Okay. There we go. That looks a lot better. So now we'll just uh, double um, uh, I probably shouldn't have messed with that. Alright, so now we can just do the figure. Just do this because I'm paranoid. Alright. So we'll create a new layer. In layer three, guys. We will create the figure. So, like, we just draw ahead. That's crap. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Work. God damn it. Delete that. Okay, finally. Oh, no. Okay, you guys ready? Attempt to. Nope. Oh my god. This is what you call crap. No. Oh. Uh, there we go. That's enough. So I'm just going to have him standing here. Of the body. No. I'll have him standing here. It's kind of like this. No, 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 not curious because you've met this wall before. You've met this wall before. So he'll just be standing, kind of like angry and gruesomeless. Okay, so. Here we have him now. I normally like adding text and all that laugh. So now what I do is I go one, two, three, and then in the fourth frame I will press F7. So as you can see, he's gone. And to make it easier to do a frame, I turn on onion skins. And what it does is it basically shows you the, the full frame and the next frame depending on how wide it is. Adjust just to here just by holding down these and you can do that. See, I have mine at two frames on each side. So let's do, so now, he's not going to run. He's, he is going to run actually the other way. This time, this is his second pose. So, what he does is, he's like, like this. Swings his arms this way. Crap, that's so crap. Uh, come on. <laughs> can be a pain in the ass. Bloody hell. 
Bloody cow. Come on. On workout. There we go. So he flings back like that. Then next seven. This time he will be like kind of like this. He'll kind of. I'm just gonna do this just to make life ten times easier. Right. So now I'm using. I'm doing this guys with animation. Um. See how I kind of stretch out his head here? That's only because um one of the two of the principles of animation is anticipation and switch and stretch. This is one example of anticipation. He, when he's about to run, he doesn't just run. He swings his arms back, then runs. All right, and then in here I'm about to show another example. Okay, what he does time um he he um he's stretched out right while he's running so he'll be kind of like this crap so he'll be kind of like this that we go now here we are. So here, SF7, and now he's going to be born here. Actually, you'll just, I'll just do that. So that way, it's not empty. So that kind of takes me off seeing that empty. Okay, so now F7 again. Now he's gonna be kind of like running back. He's gonna be time he's gonna be holding something. So I'll do this. Crap. Oh my god. What is happening today? <laughs> Just like this. back I know I don't need to do this but I'm doing this like I said it makes it you for me you have to see the whole thing now if I go the fourth one again and I press F7 now he's back and his next pose will be where oh, crap. he's gonna black black he's gonna back I can know over here he's gonna be back this time he'll be holding something up like this will be trouble so I'm gonna change my color here to this brown here and then like so I'm gonna do I'm gonna get our grey, like kind of lighter grey. And then I'm gonna do that. Let's colour that in. Uh, there we go, a spade. I'm gonna just do this very quickly. I'll just put a little. I and mean, then I know it looks kind of like a sword actually. I might just get it entirely. Lasso, lasso. It's gonna be hard. Perfect. Okay. Now I'll just. I'm just gonna go over that and. I'm just gonna. This and this. I'm gonna drag it down. Come on, go into his hand. Okay, so that's not straight. Bloody Charlie. So I thought I'd do this. Be 
really right this one. Come on, what's gonna work? Oh no, I select you! No! Okay, well. I'm select, so let's just leave it like that because I'm very annoyed right now. I'm gonna get out a yellow and I'm just gonna go like. Kind of like, it's kind of like special. Like holy. Holy shovel. <laughs> so, alright, so we've done that now. I'm going to draw the. That is not the right colour. Bloody hell. Back to this colour, there we go. Now, I am going to draw him like this. Like that. Next guys will be right here now. Seven. Now he will be bending over. Crap. Now he'll be bending over. There we go. Now he'll be like that. Like this. But this time he'll have his hands or something. Okay, so I'll get out the brown. Draw the shovel. This time it'll be in the ground though. Where's my silver? Well, not really silver, just, yeah. So, I'm glad this is behind. There we go. So now, um, I'll just, those will probably be like, um, seven. This time he'll have, um, his next pose will be him throwing it out, so. Color crap, of course. So now he's up. I'm always doing this time. He's, he's throwing back. So if I can just draw that little sticker in his hands. Maybe just undo all of that and make his hands closer together. Like so, there we go. Now I'll get out the brown. And that's the wrong colour and not what I was expecting. There we go. Now let's do this. Okay, so like that. Just be throwing out some dirt to go away. I was thinking of making a different layer for the shelf and all that, but I just thought, why the hell should I? So, ah, uh, crap, I forgot to draw the rest of his body. What an inconvenience. Wow. Oh, bro, 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 no, 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 no. So like that. There we go. Now. Oh, come on. I'm sucking today. There we go. Bruh. So, yeah, guys, I'll probably put this in the part of me making this. 
only because it's gonna take a long, a long time, okay? 